Hello everyone. Um, we're going to learn how to make uh, applications for the Apple uh, iPhone, iPad, um, and, I and other iOS applications. Uh, please note that this is not, uh, you know, tutorial for uh, developing applications for the Mac or the Safari. It is purely for the iPhone, iPad, um, and iOS applications. Um, first things first to to ensure that you can do applications on the iPhone and iPad, you would have to have a Mac machine. You can't do development on a Windows-based machine. So you would need to have an Intel-based Mac uh, machine. It can be a Mac laptop, it can be a Mac desktop, or you can also buy a Mac mini and connect it with uh, you know, peripheral uh, uh, USB um, keyboard, mouse, etc. Once you've um, organized yourself with um, with uh, uh, Apple machine, you would then need to do the first step of uh, you know starting the applications, um, you know starting to build the applications, which is basically to download the Xcode. Now to do that, um, I apologize, I don't use Safari too much, so I'm going to show you on Chrome. That's much easier for me. So let, um, you know, we can use either, but let's use Chrome. I'm more comfortable with that. Um, what you need to do is go to developer.apple.com. And then uh, if you see, it says iOS Development Center. Now this is where you would find all the tutorials, help, guidelines, etc. for uh, developing applications for iPhone or iPad um, and other iOS devices that Apple may come up with in future. Um, what we need to do is first, you would need to get registered yourself as a developer. Um, so if you already have a developer ID, you can straight away click on login and download the SDK and the Xcode. Otherwise, you would need to click on register and then you would need to basically get started, um, fill in your details. You need to create an Apple ID, continue. Fill in your details over here. And once you've done that, you know, you would be, uh, you would be approved as a developer for the iOS. Now we're going to go back uh, slightly and you know we can log in once we have the ID we can log in so I'm going to use my details for now Yep. Once you've uh, logged in, the first thing that you want to do is basically download the uh, the package that you would need for developing the I iPad and iPhone applications. So you go to download. Um, you would see that the downloads available for you uh, are written down. There's a list of downloads. Um, so I would recommend you list you download the one that is free. Again, please remember when you register for for being a developer you would uh, you would be asked to you know to op opt for a you know $99 a month sorry $99 a year package um, now that's 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 something that we would do at a later stage but at this point of time I th um, I don't recommend you to opt for that license we can download the Xcode 3.2.6 um, iOS SDK 4.3 uh, if you want to do download the readme file you can do that as well but uh, yeah, you know, we're going to go with the free registration initially. And then once we've done our first applications, we would download, we would basically uh, buy the license for the, uh, for the developer, which I think will cost you $99 a year. Um, again, depending on which country you are, uh, the prices may vary. But um, as far as I know, it's $99 a year. So again, uh, now, when you click on Xcode 3.2.6 and iOS SDK 4.3, it would basically ask you to download a file, uh, which would be a DMG file. Um, 
since I already have downloaded the applications, I'm not going to do that again. But depending on your internet speed, it can take hours to download that application. Um, you need to ensure that you know when the download is uh, on, uh, you turn your power preferences uh, to to never because if you leave the computer unattended for a while, it would uh, basically you know shut down itself or maybe go to sleep. Um, so you need to turn that preferences off. Um, Again, if, if the uh, computer is attended, then you can monitor the download. But it took me about six hours to download the SDK. It was uh, around uh, two and a half GB. Um, so yeah, this is the first step. Once you've downloaded uh, the Xcode and the SDK and installed it, they would look like this. So Xcode, panel, dash code, and instruments. Most probably, once you've downloaded them, they would appear on your developer folder. On your, on your hard drive, you would see that there's a folder called developer and your applications would be within the developer folder. So yeah, please go ahead and download the X code and the iOS SDK. And once you've done that, in the next tutorial, we'll see how to do um, you know, the first basic steps, how to go about uh, doing the iPhone and iPad applications. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Um, Please download this again and um, we'll, we'll, we'll carry on with the next uh, tutorial and uh, tutorial number two uh, and get started on the, uh, on the development part. Thanks a lot again. Cheers.